welcome in to be our guest. And we're so blessed to have Miss Jean Wright from Wright's Produce out on Federal Drive, right next to the Coliseum, open seven days a week. Right. Oh my goodness. How long have you been doing this? Uh, the market's been there 36 years, I believe. Well, obviously they know <laughs> what they're doing. But we were, we're talking today, you don't just have all the beautiful plants. You also have some amazing things in this area right here. You have all these products that, that you guys kind of private label pack mm -hmm. that are really unusual. Uh, now this is a, everybody's favorite. The okay. Fig, uh, the fig preserves, um, those are really good. And they're healthy too. Oh yes, figs are good for you. Oh yes, I love that. Uh huh. And then we. This is a new item here. This okay. is. This is hot and spicy barbecue sauce. <laughs> a lot of barbecue sauce is a little spicy, but not right. hot. Right. But you got a lot of people that likes that hot stuff. Yes, so you do. That's real good there. That's a new <laughs> item. And of course, uh, your favorite, the Mayhaw jelly. I love this. It's it's somewhere between. It's, it's not sweety sweety, and it's not. It, it's, it's just different, and it, the and the may the Mayhaw berry does not grow everywhere. No. So it's mm -mm. it's elusive. It's hard to oh, get. Oh yeah, it's hard to get. Yeah. So I love that one. And uh, this is a <laughs> this is a new item here. Well, we started getting this last year. Okay. The hot dog relish. We ran out of it, and everybody was calling about the hot dog relish. Okay. So it's gotten to be real popular. Once that they, looks good. Uh huh. And it's uh. This is done here in, you know. Yeah, it's an state. Alabama mm -hmm. product. Again, folks, please buy local, shop local. And the Vidalia onion. Oh, now that's wonderful the too. The onion relish, yep. that's really good. Yep. That's yeah. good mm -hmm. stuff. It's good with your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And this is a new item here. We have this in different flavors. Um, it's bacon flavored ketchup. <laughs> okay, I know five people right now that I could give that to. We have the jalapeno <laughs> f uh, ketchup, and uh, we have two or three different kinds, but it is really good. <laughs> you have, they have specialty items that folks you're not going to find anywhere else, and they're produced in Alabama. And then now, okay, your vegetables are starting to come in. The, so let's talk a little bit about what we've got here. Okay, the only thing coming in, you know, you have your right. little green beans, the little snap beans, and uh, of course squash. Squash always right. comes in early. And your new potatoes, the little red potatoes, you know, red potatoes come in three different sizes. Okay. That's your A red, the bigger potatoes, and that's your B red. They're medium size. Right. And then the creamers run that size and smaller. But um, a lot of people don't realize you, they're graded okay. different. Do they taste different? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> they all taste That's interesting. I love to bake the red potatoes. Uh huh. They're great instead uh -huh. of a baked potato. They really are. Oh, yeah. And, and I guess now, the Alabama tomatoes are not in yet. Not in right? yet. Okay. And you got your little Kirby cucumber, they call That's these. Cute. Okay. They use these more for pickles, okay. but they're really good in salads. Okay. And they run that size and smaller. And then you've got, now like we said, the, your Alabama tomatoes are they're not, not in yet, but these, yet. These, are they're, they're these are vine rinds. These are Florida, but they're vine rinds. Okay. And they are, those are, they've been mm, real good. Yummy. And zucchini? of course our zucchini squash. And now, the good old Mississippi red sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes. Good those, stuff. Those have been really good. And I'm looking at your corn here. You've got the two different ones. You've uh -huh, got the you've white got the, and the This yellow. is bicolor or peaches and cream. Okay. So it's yellow and okay. white. And it's good. It's sweet. And of course, your silver coin is sweet. My daddy loved that silver coin. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness! I just like any kind of vegetables. And then look at look at this. Uh huh. This is a Vidalia bulb onion. Um, oh, I got those last year. Oh yeah, they're good on hamburgers. They're good in salads or just to eat raw. Well, and actually, Jean, I use those all the way up to the top. Mm -hmm. 
The, I like the, the, those. the tops yeah. were delicious. Yeah. And and omelets on the new potatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! And the sweetness of those is just amazing. I like to put those little new potatoes in a, a like you're going to boil them, and then cut your right, right, this right. And put your That's salt what I did. Pepper in there. And then real quick, tell us one thing. You taught us how to cook the microwave corn. Could you just tell us real quickly how we do that? Uh -huh. You leave the shuck on it. Don't pull the shuck down. Just take the whole shuck and stick it in the microwave. And usually it takes two minutes. It depends on the size of the okay. corn. Okay. Two minutes. And don't ask me why I do this. It's just the habit. I, after it goes off, I turn it over and do it two more minutes. Usually four minutes total is okay. plenty. Okay. And... Uh, you hold it under your faucet, cold water, and just pull that back, and those silks come off real pretty. It's easy. amazing. The whole thing just strips mm -hmm. right off. You don't have to fight this at all, the corn uh, silk. Just, Ooh, I love out. it. Well, it listen, that real easy. anybody that comes to see you is going to learn a lot and, great, and get great products, and we thank you so much for bringing all this in for Jack and I to share with our audience. And we will have you back as different things come in. Okay, great. All right, thank you, All and right. thank you for being with us. And we'll be right back.